Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobLandPhoto.com and in today's video we're going to be looking at a photo book. Um, this one's called Celebrity by British photographer uh, Terry O'Neill with a foreword by A. A. Gill, the, uh, I think he's a Sunday Times columnist. Um, because one of the things I, I really believe strongly is that if we want to become better photographers, what we've got to do is we've got to take lots of photos. You know, you've got to take as many, many photos as you can because you've kind of got to rely a bit on photographer's luck. You know, The idea that it's only really one photo out of a um, hundred that we take might be any good and one photo out of a thousand might be, might, might be, might be quite special. So you've got to continually be taking lots of photos you know you've got to work a scene you've got to work a subject um, you've got to be out there out there shooting um, but equally as important is to look at understand and absorb uh, and appreciate really good photos as well but in these days of Instagram uh, Facebook Flickr um, Twitter blogs uh, instant messaging people sharing people plus wanting we're kind of we're bombarded with images, thousands of images uh, every day. So it can be really hard to discern the good from the bad, or probably more accurately, you know, the, the the okay images from the ones that are really, really excellent. And this is why your traditional, I think anyway, your tr traditional photo book is very important because. Um, I'm not talking about the photo books, you know, that say, you know, how to become a better photographer. Um, they try and tell you, you know, how to use a digital camera, you know, the guide to digital photography, or the ones that are based around Photoshop and how to use Photoshop or Lightroom to make your images look better, to make your images, make your images pop. I'm talking about the photo books that are collections of photos, um, normally by world famous or or, fa or established photographers that are put together in a book and they publish them with the idea i guess of you know making money by by selling them um and um you know and they, they put them out there because they want people to buy them to look at them to enjoy the photos and as photographers you know they they're a great teaching tool for us for us as, as well as being a great inspiration and one of these books is, is this one, Celebrity uh, by Terry O'Neill. So now who is Terry O'Neill? Well, he's a famous British uh, photographer, started in the 1950s and 1960s, and basically all the way through uh, up until now, he's taken portraits of, um, you know, the who's who of uh, celebrity and stars from um, pop acts to uh, to Hollywood uh, film stars. Um, and this, what I'll do is I'll, I'll read a little bit of his bio from um, from his uh, from his website. And what it says is, Terry O'Neill is one of the world's most collected photographers whose work hangs in national art galleries and private collections worldwide. For over six decades, he has photographed the front line of fame from the greats of screen and stage to presidents, prime ministers, and rock stars. No other living photographers embrace the span of fame, capturing the icons of our age, from Winston Churchill to Nelson Mandela, from Frank Sinatra, from Sinatra and Elvis to Amy Winehouse, from Audrey Hepburn and Bridget Bardot to Nicole Kidman, as well as every James Bond from Sean Connery to Pierce Brosnan. He photographed the Beatles and the Rolling Stones when they were still struggling young bands in 1963, pioneered backstage reportage photography with David Bowie, Elton John, The Who, Eric Clapton and Chuck Berry and his images of adorned historic rock albums, movie posters and international magazine covers. Um, one of the best things to do if you want to learn more about um, Terry O'Neill's work, if you go to his website which is terryo.co.uk, so it's uh, www.terryo.co.uk co.uk and uh, I think there's a link that's a gallery and you and you click on that and then there's lots of different things so he's got like the 1970s he's got supermodels um, he's got bands and then these uh, they're, they're fairly small um, but you can see the images and you can go through the various types of uh, photos there and they really are really are very very special indeed so you know what we've got here is a great photographer um, whose work encompasses amazing images from the 60s to the present day 
and uh, I think um, this really is a, an amazing uh, collection of images which I think um, will probably surprise you um, with the many different characters that are inside and also probably with the different styles that Mr O'Neill uses to capture uh, these uh, these characters as well because well, you've got to remember the, you know the, these photos in this book they are photos that were taken on assignment you know he's been sent out to capture these images to get these photos for his photo editor so it might be for a magazine newspaper it might he might be working for the studios at the time you know but you know they've told him you know go out and take a picture of you know Faye Dunaway um, the morning after uh, she got her um, her Canvey Award, or he might have been on the set of a Paul Newman movie. Um, and there's there's some quite sort of traditional photographs. There's a photograph of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, for example. And there's also a smattering of more candid shots. But they're all in there, and they're a great example of you know the working photographer out there plying his trade and you know delivering the goods, delivering the goods basically. And remember that most of the photos in this book were taken before the age of digital manipulation as well. You know they're on film. Um, no, I know you can you can change film, but, um, but there's a there's a certain truth to the photos that that can't be n denied, and especially there's some of the photos of uh, the Hollywood stars that you know are very big today, but some of them in in, in the book are probably you know, at the beginning of their careers. Like um, I'm thinking of who who am I thinking of? Um, um, there's uh, Tom Cruise, for example. Um, there's a photo of him in here as well, and another good example is the one of um, Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, I don't know whether you can see that. Um, and what we've got here is, you know, we've got the truth of film. You look closely and you can see the pores of their skin. You can see the unplucked eyebrows in the wrong places. And it really is, it is refreshing in the days today, you know, when you look in a, a magazine or look in a, in a book of photos that have been digitally manipulated and all the skin looks a bit plasticky and there isn't much texture um, where this you know gives you the <laughs> it, it, if you've never thought about shooting film and especially medium format film because I guess it probably shooting quite a lot of 120 I mean I don't know the specifics of what Mr. O'Neill uses for his camera but I guess he was probably using a Hasselblad or something um, using uh, using medium format film is you know it really does i think capture truth in a, in a really really wonderful way so here we have um, a photographer going out and capturing that magic capturing that truth uh, on demand and in a myriad of different styles so um, i tell you what, why don't we have a closer look at the book okay so here we have a celebrity uh, the photographs of terry o'neill famous british uh, photographer with an introduction by A.A. A. Gill. Let's have a closer look inside. First up we've got this um, essay by A.A. A. Gill. Very, very nice indeed. But you know, we want the photos, don't we? So let's get started. One of the most iconic celebrities of all time, Bridget Bardot. Um, and then we've got her with Sean Connery on the left. This is one of the photographs I talked about, the idea of, you know, this, this film photo of Tom Cruise. It's probably difficult to see it on the video, but the excellent detail that we can see, um, everything from his rather wide, wild eyebrows on the front to, you know, the pores in his skin and the zits on his face. Um, you know, we're talking about film, we're talking about truth. Not that you can't get the truth in digital photography, um, but film just seems to capture it. Here we have some of... Um, Mr. O'Neill's earlier work from the 1960s and 70s and you know these are kind of I would call these classic Sunday supplement shots aren't they here we have Michael Douglas in Santa Barbara taken in 1988 um, again I'm not exactly sure of the uh, cameras or lighting that, um, that Mr. O'Neill would use but um, obviously we've got a mix of sort of natural lighting there with a shot of um, Rod Stewart to the more formal portraits which I guess were probably used but they look like natural light but this is definitely I would say a flash lit shot of George Lucas, Steven Spielberg and uh, Harrison Ford um, from um, the 1960s there we have Gene Shrimpton um, that is uh, Steve McQueen, Richard Burton Supermodel stuff, here we've got Kate Moss and Naomi Campbell up in the top left hand corner. Elton John, Shirley Temple, the 
Beatles, very early Beatles shot from 1963, and there we have Michael Caine. Um, so uh, there we go. This book is definitely worth um, looking at, and uh, very, very uh, special indeed. That's Celebrity, the photographs of Terry O'Neill, with an introduction by A.A. Gill, definitely uh, worth adding to any photographer's collection. My name is Rob from RobMyPhoto.com. Thanks for watching.